Hey guys, welcome back to the Mad Family. So today's video is going to be something different on my channel. It's going to be about homeschool. If you're new to my channel, I am a mom to a five-year-old named Layla. It's her first year starting kindergarten and I've enrolled her in homeschool. I'm kind of new to like the homeschool journey, so I'm kind of like winging it at this point. But her curriculum stuff just came in the mail yesterday and I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see like an unboxing and then like have me answer like some questions that you guys had about homeschool. I have two giant boxes here full of all of her stuff. I haven't opened them yet so I have no idea what's in it. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it and open them. Totally just cut myself. All right, so I got my band-aid on. Let's jump back into this haul. Hopefully with no more injuries. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is jam-packed full of stuff. So I'm gonna just randomly pull stuff out. This is like the first thing that catches my attention. So this is six geo puzzles. So it has a puzzle about the world, Latin America, Asia, Africa, USA, and Canada, and Europe. So, that's what it looks like. So it's puzzles about the world, and then it says it also comes with six mini posters and six resealable storage bags. So next thing that's in here is color pencils. So pencils, but it says it's the right size for children so these are pencils for like children ages three to six it says better control equals better results so that's what those pencils look like and there's what is this it has like a bunch of workbooks in here and then there's an instruction manual in here there's also What's going on here? Conversation cards. So. so that's what one of them looks like. There's a packaging for the conversation cards. There's... Looks like a painting kit. Super cute. This is like something Aurora would have fun doing too. Aurora is my other daughter, if you guys are new here. she is almost two she'll be two at the end of the year so this is boom fun with science so it's like science experiments it says there's over 65 science experiments in here so it says ages five and up incredible kid friendly instruction manual included dvd included qr code for each experiment nine exciting categories and you learn fascinating insights in science so this looks super cool looks like Gosh, this, box is so heavy. this is all about reading level one teacher's manual level one student packet i'm gonna open up this box so i can show you guys some of the books that are in here hopefully i don't cut another finger oh yeah there's a ton of books in here so there's this one there's the runt pig Cobweb the cat. It comes with the teacher's manual. It's like all about the books and like vocabulary and everything. The letter sounds. Also comes with a student packet. So it has like an activity book, word cards, viewfinder bookmark, and stickers for a progress chart. So this is for Layla so all of that is like one little kit oh this is cute I think this is a pencil case see what it looks like it's super cute it has like shark on it submarine so it's super cute that's what the inside looks like and then it has like a little shark and then the last thing that's in this box this i don't want to open this right now but that's what it looks like when layla went to preschool in hawaii her class had something like this and she was always playing with it so 
I'm sure she'll love playing with that. I feel like this one is even heavier than the last box. And then this is... Oh, this is the curriculum catalog for 2019. I don't think I even said this in the video, but the curriculum that we ended up going with is Timberdoodle. So this is what their catalog looks like. I'll leave all of like the information down below if you guys want to check it out. The first thing that's in this box is my first Spot the Difference. So it has over 50 puzzles in here. This is super cool. It has scratch boards. You can doodle rhymes. That's what the inside looks like. So it's all about rhyming. This one is geography. So it has map skills, projects and activities, basic skills. So this is about like landforms and oceans, lakes. That's what this one looks like. Other one that comes in there is developing the early learner. So this is a parent guide. Motor, visual, auditorial, and thinking skills. Here's what this one looks like. All of these are kind of like repetitive stuff, but I know she would really love doing stuff like this. What this one looks like. There's another one. And then this one looks like this. This is the last one that goes with like the other ones that I was just showing you guys. And then it also comes with exploring the building blocks of science. So it's an activity book all about science. So super cool. And in that same pack, there's also Draw and Discover book called Push, Pull, Empty, Full. So like I said, it's a Draw and Discover book. On like one side of the page, it shows you like a drawing and then you're supposed to use your imagination and draw the other side of the picture. So this book is really cool. Another book similar to that one, this is also a Draw and Discover book, but this is Happy, Sad, Feeling, Glad. So I think this one is like all about your emotions. So this is super good because she would have to use like her imagination for these books. That same pack, there's a alphabet tracing and writing packet. So it's just all about tracing the alphabet. The last book that was like in that little set is my first Spot the Difference. So there's over 50 puzzles in here. There's another pack of books. This one is Thinking Skills Workbooks. So this is like logic open up these ones too so here's the first workbook so it's a thinking skills workbook this is how we do it. it says one day in the lives of seven kids from around the world this looks like a really interesting book so it says meet the kids on the back and then it's about kids from japan peru iran russia India, Italy, and Uganda. So that's super cool. This book looks pretty interesting. There's Around the World Mazes. This book also looks really interesting. The last one in that set is just a Timberdoodles Curricular Handbook. And this is the 
This is the non-religious curriculum. There's two other books in here. One of them is Look Inside Your Body, and it has over 100 flaps to lift in here. So that's what it looks like. So here's what one of the flaps looks like in there. There's what your kindergartner needs to know. So this is for me. Modeling dough in here. This is a builder pack. It has over 50 bricks in here, looks like. This is called Smart Farmer and it's a puzzle game. Pattern matching puzzle bug. So super cute. And all this stuff will be so nice for Rory too, once she starts getting a little bit bigger. This is so cute. So this is called Little Red Riding Hood. And again, it's another puzzle game. So you have to find the path to grandma. And then it also comes with a picture book. That's what it looks like. This is a block kit. So this is for math. I used to use these too when I was in school. The last thing in here is this box. And I have no idea what's in here, so we're gonna open this one too. First thing that's in that little box is a little, little tote bag. And then there's, let's see, what is this? So there's actually sponges in here. Comes with four of them. What's in here? Letter tiles and magnets, reading divider cards, and then it also comes with a sounds app. That's what was in the box. And that's actually the last thing that's in here. So it came with a lot of stuff. As you guys can tell, her curriculum is more based on like her actually doing stuff versus like being on like the tablet and stuff so that's what this curriculum is based on so as you guys can see like there's lots of like puzzles in here and kits for her to do experiments for her to do so I have some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram that I'm gonna answer has Layla been to public school before yes when we were living in Hawaii Layla actually went to pre-k and she loved it she was only there for I think about really it was like two hours out of the day so it wasn't bad at all but she enjoyed it how long are you planning on homeschooling I have no idea I don't really have a time limit on it right now I'm kind of just seeing how like if she likes it and if I like it then I will see where we go from there but for now the game plan is just to see how she does in kindergarten and like I said if she loves it if I love it if I see her like thriving in homeschool then I'll probably just keep her in it but for now we're just kind of going with the flow do you plan on the girls going to public school at all again I have no idea right now like I said we're just kind of seeing how we both do if we both like it so not sure but like I said Layla's been in public school before so I don't really have an issue putting her in public school it's just I really wanted to give homeschool a try. So are there any specific requirements to homeschool your kids? So for Layla's homeschool, she's going through iLead, that's the school name. There was no like specific requirements from myself, so I didn't need to like take a class. They didn't like look up my like school background, I guess you could say. So there wasn't really any requirements from me. Are you worried about your daughter missing out on the social aspect of school? So this is probably the number one question I got. And I feel like this one is kind of like a stigma that comes with homeschool. I feel like there's so many programs that people don't realize that's available to homeschool kids. So Layla is still going on like field trips as well as like extracurricular activities. So she can, I can sign her up for like ballet, kickboxing, like a bunch of sports. So I'm not worried about her being social at all because she'll still have those opportunities because they are 100% available to her. So you have to send her progress to a school board. Layla actually does have a teacher 
So I work with Layla from home. Like I correct her work and everything. And then I actually send it to her teacher and then her teacher will send it to, I guess the school board you would say. What is the name of the curriculum you're doing? Timber doodle. How do you grade your children in a fair way? So I guess when you're grading your child, you have to kind of keep in mind that yes, they're your child, but you also have to let them learn for themselves. So making mistakes is okay. And I have to keep in mind that she has to learn. It's okay to make mistakes. And even though I am grading her work, it still gets sent to her teacher. And then her teacher is the one who overall gives her her grades for her classes. Is it expensive? All the programs are free. Her extracurricular activities are free, field trips are free, all of this stuff was 100% free. What days do you do school? So this was another question I got a whole bunch and I feel like this also goes with like the stigma for homeschool. Ayla is still going to be going to school like Monday through Friday because it's still a regular school. She still has work that she has to do every single day. Obviously, it's a little bit more flexible because it's not like she is sent to public school and she has to be there no matter what. Even if she finishes her work early, she still has to be at school. She can't just leave public school. So homeschool is a little bit different in that way because it's a little bit more flexible because if she finishes her work early for the day, then she's done. But she still has to, you know, actually like sit down and do her work Monday through Friday. Last question I'm going to answer is, what made you want to homeschool Layla? As you guys know, I had Everly and all that stuff happened. And then we are still like barely moving into our new house. If Layla were to go to public school, she would have already missed about like a month of school. So I felt like with everything going on with like Everly and us moving into a new house, I felt like homeschool was our best bet. Guys, so that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul of all of Layla's kindergarten curricular stuff. I can't believe she's starting kindergarten. She's so big now. Can't believe she's going to be six at the end of the year which is like in a few months already so crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed this haul if there's something you guys are wondering i will try my best to answer it i feel like this video was kind of all over the place but like i said this is 100 percent new to me i've never homeschooled her and she's barely going to kindergarten so this is all new to both of us if you guys want to see like more homeschool videos i can definitely film those but like i said i'm 100 new to this journey so kind of winging it so we're gonna learn this together I but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell so you guys always get notified every single time we upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.